Excellent. I talk to many people in Brazil. Really? Yes, I do. Have you been there? Uh, no, I've never been to Brazil, but I would love to. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I've got it. Makes sense. Special moments from Star Trek. Um, that spans 30 years now because I never really left Star Trek. It continues with every person who watches it, 15-year-olds who come and say, I just discovered the show. And uh, my character of Major Kira and my involvement in it keeps going. So this is yet one more moment of Star Trek. I think, I don't think I get through one day without saying the word Star Trek. <laughs> that, that's a fact. That's a fact. I think just like diversity, it gives everyone room and it gives everyone room to have a voice. And I think that is wonderful. I don't think there's one, one voice to Star Trek anymore. We all have a bit in it and I'm happy for that. Any chance to see you back on the screen? You never know. You never know. We are celebrating today the life of Michelle Nichols. How was her legacy? How do you see her legacy? Her legacy, I, I, when I, I'm writing a book about the women of Star Trek and the women who were inspired by her, and I think of a colonel in the army, a woman of color, who talked to me and said, it was the first time I saw men listen to a black woman, and she was in an important position, and they listened to the information she had to say, and that shifted me. And, you know, I think that shifts all of us. She shifted so much. I know that it was a struggle for her at times, and it's a famous story of Martin Luther King, Reverend Martin Luther King, asking her to please be a representative, and she did that, and that changed everything. When can you see this book? Uh, not yet. I've got lots of people to talk to. Okay, can I send a message from Brazil and fans? Sure. Brazil. I talked to many of you over uh, Twitter and on my Instagram account, and I am sending you so much love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.